would you just give me a real simple layman's explanation in very short terms from anybody how increasing the number of beds saves us $3 million again? Well, we're not actually, with this rule, we're actually not increasing the number of beds, but we're actually increasing the threshold uh, by which beds can be increased. So it encourages us to use the existing bed, the existing capacity within our state to help us meet uh, the need uh, for uh, our facilities and our programs across communities in Arkansas without increasing uh, the bed capacity and without adding to the bed capacity in our state. So if I've got a facility that's sitting over here and it's at the 80% rule, but it's got beds being unused, and I've got a facility over here that is not up to the 8%, it allows that transfer of beds from this facility to that one, thus utilizing, helping that that facility operate more efficiently by manpower and all the overhead costs and everything. Is that kind of a 100,000 foot view? Yes, sir, but it also uh, governs uh, the use of uh, new construction, so we're encouraging uh, increased quality, greater, uh, uh, more up-to-date, more modern facilities so that when this occurs, we can assure that uh, when this happens, that the individuals are moving into facilities that are up-to-date and that meet the standards by which we acquire our services moving forward. And if this facility over here drops down to 70 or 60, what's the guarantee that a facility over in town XYZ that's going to lose some of those beds is going to be able to sustain and stay available to the community that it serves? What's the answer to that? Well, obviously, we have the permit agency and the permit commission that actually reviews uh, each of those permits. Uh, obviously, a change cannot just be made. Tracy can comment more. Uh, effectively than I can on this, but obviously he has a commission, has a board that actually works with them, reviews those so that we can assure that if and when those changes are made, uh, that they're made in the best interest of our facilities in Arkansas and our programs across the state. And typically those transfer beds, are they within an ownership? Would you take beds away from owner over here to give to a different owner over here in order to make this transfer happen, or is it within within the ownership of both institutions. Exactly, within the ownership of both institutions. Uh, also, to answer your first question, Representative Hammer, uh, we look at these uh, bed calculations every day, but it has to be a certain level for a 12-month period of time, at that 70% for a 12-month period of time, then we know that the chances are that they will probably stay at that level, rise, or go down slightly. So we don't just arbitrarily say, well, this is a certain number, and they may not keep that. So we have some data to back that up. But when you do that that transfer, uh, it is between the two owners. We don't get involved in that at all. That's a private industry type of relationship. But what this will do is incentivize them to work between each other because we're decent incentivizing, if you will, them coming back to us for more beds and say, well, we can't work it out. We'll go to the health services permit agency and just get some new ones. Okay, and I final, I just want to make sure that, because I, you know, I live in an area where we're blessed and, and quality services and all that good stuff. I just want to make sure that we're not disadvantaging a underserved area where it may create a vacuum and we're going to be sitting here five, ten years down the road saying we got places shutting down otherwise because they can't afford to stay open or it's costing us more because we've dropped the bed to 65 or 70 and it's costing them more to operate. And, and are you assuring me that this move is not going to create that type of environment? We'll be back here five to ten years dealing with that. I, I can assure you that, uh, uh, certainly, uh, I can assure you that because we have an agency, our agency, that, that keeps uh, that keeps abreast of those changes and can go in, and our commission can go in and manipulate that where we see the population growth to be able to serve specific areas. That's why we didn't go, we went from 80 to 93. And didn't go to 100, as Craig said. We, we certainly wanted to, to keep the uh, competition in to help keep the price down, the quality of care up. But but we also wanted to leave areas where people could come in and still be a free enterprise system and be able to serve areas that's having tremendous growth. But incentivize them to, to, to make sure we utilize those beds that are not being utilized now at all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, Representative Ferguson, you're recognized for a question. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, 